from Hafutale. So since we've last seen you, we have traveled by train from Nuwara Elia to Hafutale. The tickets cost 500 rupees, which is $2 total, so super cheap. And unlike the first train trip that we took where we traveled in the class called Third Class Reserve, this time those tickets weren't available, so we just had to buy the tickets on the day of. And also unlike the previous tickets, it turns out that second class is actually a bit more of a free-for-all. They have unlimited numbers of tickets and there is no reserve seating, so it is completely first come, first serve. So unless you find yourself a seat at the very, very beginning of the train's journey, then it's very likely that you're gonna find yourself standing like we did. That all said, because of the fact that we found a space for ourselves just by the open doors, then it did mean that we did get some of the most amazing views yet again. We checked into our guest house here in Hafutali yesterday, and it is super cute, as I'm sure you'll have just seen. The host family is incredibly kind. They invited us into their home for dinner last night and served us an absolute feast. The food was so good and there was way too much. We had rice with a few different curries. There was the dal curry, a pumpkin curry, eggplant, which was fantastic. And then also one we'd never seen, which was cabbage mixed with coconut. They gave us some papadums and then watermelon for dessert. It was phenomenal and really, really generous. We are up at 4.30 for another sunrise hike. This time it's to go to the top of Lipton Sea. So here we go. Our 45 minute tuk-tuk ride cost 2,000 rupees or eight Canadian dollars. It cost 1,000 rupees total or four Canadian dollars to enter Lipton Seat, and we got driven right up to where we could watch the beautiful sunrise. After watching one of our favorite sunrises ever, we walked about 400 meters uphill to the top where we retreated to more spectacular views as we could see the astoundingly gorgeous countryside miles away. It's so sad that on a clear day you can see as far as the coast. Lipton Sea is named after Sir Thomas Lipton, who used to preside over the tea fields in this area. His legacy still lives on as the Lipton Tea Company, which was established in 1890, is still well known worldwide to this day. There's a cafe at the top that offers a delicious cup of traditional tea for 100 rupees or only 35 cents. It's the perfect way to warm up and continue enjoying the stunning views. the seven kilometers downhill to the town of Dembatene. We snaked our way through the lush green rolling hills and visually pleasing, very organized rows of tea fields.
to visit Dambatene Tea Factory once in town, but we decided not to since we'd already toured one in Nuwara Elia. Apparently it costs a thousand rupees for the tour and you don't get a cup of tea at the end of this tour. Instead, we hopped on a local bus back to Haputale for a hundred rupees. Again, that's 35 cents Canadian each. After an absolutely incredible morning, we are now back at our guest house where we actually have breakfast included. If it's anything like the dinner we had last night, we are in for a treat. I can't believe we've already been up and at them for five hours. I'm so hungry and ready to eat. Yep, I also see a nap in our future, but that's for another time. So we may or may not have passed out for a couple of hours after our epic morning, but we're awake again and it's time to get some food. We are going to the most local cafe, restaurant, bakery place that we can go to. And while we were walking by yesterday, we discovered what we've been having this entire time when we get like samosas or roti or like the fish pie things that we've shown you. It is locally known here as short eats. So I think that's what we're going to get because it's delicious and tasty and will be kind of like more of a snack before another humongous dinner from our host tonight. After having picked up a few short eats, which were vegetable and fish based, we can confirm that lunch was absolutely delicious. And since that point, then we have been doing a spot of work. We've also been watching the Women's World Cup semi-final. Congrats to the Lionesses on reaching their first ever World Cup final. Woo! Let's hope they can bring it home on Sunday. <laughs> and then we also talked to my cousin just to have a nice catch up, but we are about to head to dinner at the guest house and I can't wait to see what's in store for us tonight. Me neither, let's go. We just got back from another huge dinner and they served us a few different things. Obviously there was that rice with coconut milk and papa dubs again. And we had a beetroot curry. I think it was like a squash curry. It looked like the pumpkin, but it was different. And we had a leek curry, which was really interesting. I think it had some spring onion in it. Yep. We had the dal again. And was there one more vegetable curry? No, I think that was it. Yeah, there were the four. Yeah. That's right. And then we had bananas for dessert. The food here is incredible. And it's just a feast, a family feast. And it was lovely as well because there are some other guests who are staying here. We all had dinner at the same time. And we just got to chatting. And I think this has been really the mark of our experience when it's been chatting to fellow travelers we're all just kind of keen to share our experiences give our recommendations and chat and getting to know one another and just swapping knowledge really and everyone seems to have a common like mindset and similar interests yeah when you're doing this kind of traveling and just getting everybody's stories is always just fascinating because you get people from all sorts of different walks of life who are traveling for different reasons and mm -hmm taking different journeys and it's just brilliant. It's nice to have that sense of community when you're away. So mm -hmm. dinner ended up being like a two, two and a half hour experience because we were gabbing the whole time and just getting to know the other guests. Absolutely. But I think we've talked ourselves tired. So with that, then I think we're probably gonna head to bed soonish. So with that, until next time, take care. And keep smiling.